Student Life and Leadership Coordinator here at College of the Albemarle. Um, I would like to introduce Rodney Wooten. He is the Director of COA Library and Learning Services and a minister at Bayside Church of Christ here in Elizabeth City. Thank you for coming today. I would like to read a few excerpts and quotes from previous speeches done by former President Barack Obama and George W. Bush. Former President Bush stated and read from Lincoln's letter at Ground Zero on 9-11 in 2011, 10 years after the attacks. He stated, President Lincoln not only understood the heartbreak of his country he also understood the cost and the sacrifice and reached out to console those in sorrow. He then read a letter from Abraham Lincoln to a mother who had lost five sons in the war. The letter reads, Dear Madam, I have shown in the files of the War Department a statement of the Adjunct General of Massachusetts that you are the mother of five sons who died gloriously on the field of battle. I feel how weak and fruitless must be any word of mine which should attempt to beguile you from the grief of a loss so overwhelming. But I cannot refrain from tendering you this consolation that may be found in the thanks of the Republic they died to save. I pray that our Heavenly Father assuage the anguish of your bereavement and leave you only the cherished memory of the love and the loss and the solemn pride that must be yours to have laid so costly a sacrifice upon the altar of freedom. Yours very sincerely and respectfully, Abraham Lincoln. Secondly, I would like to read from Psalms 46, verses one through three, that former President Obama read at New York City's commemoration on the 10th anniversary of September 11th. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed and the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake and its swelling thereof. In closing, I would like to read a couple paragraphs from President Barack Obama's weekly speech to the White House on September 10th, 2011. He stated, they wanted to deprive us of unity that defines us as a people, but we will not succumb to division or suspicion. We are Americans and we are strong and safer when we stay true to the values, freedoms and diversity that makes us unique among nations. And they want to undermine our place in the world but a decade later, we have shown that Americans don't hunker down and hide behind the walls of mistrust. We forge new partnerships with nations around the world to meet global challenges that no one nation can face alone. And across the Middle East and North Africa, a new generation of citizens is showing that the future belongs to those who want to build, not destroy. 10 years ago, Ordinary Americans showed us the true meaning of courage when they rushed up those stairwells, into those flames, and into that cockpit. In the decades since, a new generation has stepped forward to serve and to keep us safe. In their memory, in their name, we will never, we will never waver. We will protect the country we love and pass it safer, stronger, and more prosperous to the next generation, President Barack Obama. Can we now please observe a moment of silence for those who lost their life during the terrorist attacks on 9-11, 2001?
Thank you, Rodney. I would also like to thank Wayman White, Patrick Detweiler, and Valerie Mueller. Without them, this would not be possible for helping me today. I would also like to thank everyone that joined us today. Um, have a great weekend and be safe. Thank you.